Hello, my name is Ehsan Noruzi. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Visual Information Processing and Protection at the University of Siena, Italy. Today in this video, I'm presenting out paper on CNN detection of GAN-generated face images based on cross-band co-occurrences analysis. The presentation will cover the motivation in the first part. Afterward, in the second part, we will cover our proposed system based on cross-band co-occurrences matrices. Then in the third and fourth part, we will cover experimental methodology and results. And at the end, I will mention our conclusions and future research work. With the presence of advancement in deep neural networks and generative adversarial networks, GANs, non-expert users can generate realistic fake images. The last generation of GAN architecture, in particular, can create images, noticeably face images of very high quality, that can easily deceive a human observer. Therefore, GANs represent a serious threat for the development of image forensic techniques capable to distinguish between real and GAN-generated images. Several methods have been proposed in the forensic literature to reveal whether an image has been generated by a GAN or it is a natural, a natural one based on CNNs and can achieve a very good performance. In particular, the approach in detecting GAN-generated fake images using co-occurrence matrices achieves a very good detection accuracy by computing the co-occurrence matrices from the three color image bands and inputting them to a CNN. Modern GAN models can generate very high quality images with highly undetectable spatial artifacts, such as the style GAN version 2. Therefore, we propose a method for distinguishing high-quality GAN-generated images from natural ones. Our tool exhibits a much better robustness against post-processing with respect to intra-band method, and we compared with previous work which provides good results by fitting a CNN with a special co-occurrence matrices. We propose a method for distinguishing GAN generated from natural images by exploiting inconsistencies among spectral bands with a specific focus on the generation of synthetic face images. We use cross-band spectral co-occurrence matrices in addition to spatial co-occurrence matrices as input to a CNN model, which is trained to distinguish between real and synthetic faces. Regarding the detection task, we consider H0 or hypothesis 0 for pristine images. And also we consider hypothesis 1 or H1 for manipulate or generate images. Therefore, the methods proposed in this research work starts from the observation that reconstructing consistent relationships among color bands is expectedly more difficult for GANs. In order to exploit the relationships among color bands, our proposal is to compute cross-band co-occurrences and use them as input of the CNN, in addition to spatial co-occurrences computed on the single color bands separately. We also expect color band features to be more robust to common post-processing operations. Formally given an image I, let R, G, and B denote respectively the 2D matrix for red, green, and blue channel. Given an offset or displacement delta, the spatial co-occurrence matrix, or R, G, and B, is computed as the following formula. Regarding the displacement, we consider 1 and 1. The similar definition can be given for the other channels G and B. We define the uh, cross-band spectral co-occurrence matrix for the pair of channels R and G as follows. Moreover, we consider the 0 and 0 for displacement. The similar definition can be given for the other channels RB and GB. 
Therefore, the input of the proposed network is given by the tensor of the six coherence matrices of the size of 256 by 256 by 6, the network referred to as cross conet. Our approach compares with recent approach that they consider only on three coherence matrices on RGB, and we referred this approach to conet. This slide shows one example of original image the co-occurrence matrices on R, G, and B, and also across the channels R, G, R, B, and G, B. This slide shows one example of GAN image, the co-occurrence matrices on R, G, and B, and also across the channels R, G, R, B, and G, B. We consider the detection of a style GAN version 2. A style GAN version 2 has been recently proposed and has improvement of the original style GAN architecture and achieves impressive results, being a capability to generate sensitive images of extremely high quality. Differently from earlier architectures, face images generated with style GAN version 2 are visually indistinguishable from are real ones, making their detection particularly hard. The data set used to train a style GAN is Flickr Faces FFHQ database. This figure shows some examples of a style GAN version 2 face real images or FFHQ database and examples of images generated using a style GAN version 2. With regard to the architecture, we consider the same structure of the network already used for GAN images detection. The network consists of six convolutional layers followed by a single fully connected layer. The only modification we made regards the first layer since in our network we have a six band input instead of three. Robustness performance is evaluated against a wide variety of post-processing operations. The robustness achieved by cross-conet is compared with that achieved by the network conet. Specifically, we consider different geometric transformations such as resizing, rotation, zooming, and cropping. Also, we consider different filtering operations such as median filtering and blurring. And moreover, we consider different adjustments of contrast, such as gamma correction and adaptive histogram equalization, which is referred as to AHE. For resizing, the images are downscaled with the different parameters such as 0 0.9, 0 0.8, and 0 0.5. While the zooming, the images are upsampled with the different factors 1.1, 1.2, and 1.9. The big cubic interpolation is considered for all rescaling operations. Regarding rotation, we consider different angle size with the size of 5, 10, and 45 with the big cubic interpolation. Cropping is applied by considering uh, 880 by 880 area. With regard to filtering, we set the window size of both median filtering and blurring to 3 by 3 and 5 by 5. Finally, for noise addition, we consider Gaussian noise with the standard deviations with the parameters 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 2 with 0 mean. Regarding uh, gamma correction, we consider the gamma with the parameters 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1.2. While for adaptive histogram equalization, which is referred as to CLAHE, or contrast limit adaptive histogram equalization, the clear limit parameter is set to 1. Finally, robustness is assessed against blurring with the window size 3x3 followed by sharpening. The performance of the JPEG ever version of cross conet detector is also assessed in the presence of post-processing operations applied prior to comprehension with different quality factors. For our experiment, we consider a total number of 20,000 real from FFHQ and 20,000 GAN generated images. A split as follows for both real and GANs. 12,000 or 60% were considered for training, 4,000 or 20% for validation, and 4,000 or 20% for testing. 
As optimizer, we employ the stochastic gradient descent or SGD with learning rate 0.01 and momentum 0.9. The batch size was set to 40 and the network was trained with 40 epochs. For the robustness experiments, the images were post-processed with the OpenCV library in Python. For each processing type and parameters, the tests were run on 2000 images per class from the test set. To get the JPEG error cross conet model uh, for the detection of GAN generated face images, the following uh, factors uh, were considered for JPEG error training. We considered different parameters for quality factors such as 75, 80, 85, 90, and 95. Moreover, for both the real and GAN classes, 5000 images for each quality factor have been considered for training for a total of 25,000 images. The test accuracy achieved by cross conets on test set for the Stadium version 2 detection task is 99.70%, which is slightly better than accuracy reached by conet, which is equal to 98.15%. Uh, These represent a minor improvement since conet already works very well for the plain GAN detection task. The main advantage of uh, cross conet over conet is in the increased robustness against post processing. The table reports the accuracy of tests carried out under various post processing operations in unaware case. In all the cases, the robustness achieved by cross conet is much higher, even when the processing applied to the images is strong. While looking at the results of CONET, we observe that in many cases the accuracy of this network is close or even equal to 50%. The reason is that in these cases, after post-processing, almost all GAN images are classified as real, meaning that the artifacts that the network relies on to classify the image as GAN are washed out by post-processing. Even in the case of cross CONET, the few errors are made mainly on images for GAN class, while real images are always classified correctly after post-processing. Despite a small loss, the performance of cross conet are, are very good at confirming that by looking at the cross-band co-occurrences, the network can learn a stronger feature characterizing GAN faces, thus resulting in a model that is resistant to subsequent processing. As a further result, we checked the performance of both cross conet and conet decreased in the presence of JPEG comprehension. The detection accuracy for both networks lower than 80% when the quality factor equal to 95 and falls below 70% when the quality factor equal to 85. However, such a loss of performance on the JPEG comprehension is not surprising since the most of the real images in the FFHQ dataset have been JPEG compressed at least once and exhibit traces of compression. In JPEG ever cross conet yields an average accuracy of 95.5% on the test set of JPEG real and GAN faces, under the same values of the quality factors 75, 80, 85, 90, and 95 that considered for training. And for CONET, we obtained 94.83% accuracy. We verified that the model trained on the selected values of quality factors generalize well to other compression qualities. Results of the test carried out under both matched and mismatched values of the quality factor are reported in this table. The table shows that the, the generalization capability of the network are very good. With regard to the performance of the JPEG error cross conet model in the presence of processing operators applied before the final comprehension, we verified that the reduction of the accuracy achieved by the model is very small. We applied JPEG comprehension also after various post processings. These results show that the good robustness of cross conet is maintained by the JPEG error version of the model thus confirming that relying on the inconsistencies among the color bands by means of the cross-band 
uh, co-occurrences in an effective way to distinguish between real and GAN-generated images. We have introduced a CNN method for distinguishing GAN-generated images from real images, with particular focus on sensitive face images detection. The proposed method exploits inconsistencies among spectral bands. Cross-band co-occurrence matrices are used in addition to pixel co-occurrence matrices to train a CNN model to extract discriminative features for, for the real and GAN classes. The experimental analysis we carried out shows that shows the good performance of the proposed method and the improved robustness that can be obtained against various post processing compared to the case where only spatial co-occurrences are considered to train the detector, confirming the benefit of looking at the relationships among color bands. Future research will be devoted to investigate the performance of cross corners under intentional attacks, purposely modifying the band relationships in order to confuse the detector, both in a white box and black box setting. In this regard, it would be interesting to assess the performance of the network against an informed attacker who runs adversarial examples against the proposed CNN by approximating the co-occurrence computation via convolutions. Final research work has shown CNN-based image manipulation detectors are vulnerable to rebroadcast attack. Hence, it would be also interesting to study the performance of cross corners and corners when facing with a print and scan attack. Thank you for your attention.